Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uche here. I share a life experience as a Nigerian living in Australia. I also share tips on how you can migrate to Australia through any of the Australia skilled immigration pathway and how you can live and thrive in Australia. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys what you can bring along with you to Australia or better still, what you can pack with you when you come to Australia. If this is the kind of content you're looking for, stick around to the end of the video because you're going to learn one or two things to bring to Australia. Without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead with this video. Number one in my list of what you're going to pack with you to Australia is documents. So you know the documents you use in getting visa, whether it's your student visa or skilled workers visa or employers visa. Australia only give e-visa. So that document that you received in your emails telling you that they have granted you your visa, you need to come with it. You also need to come with other documents like student admission letter if you're coming in as a student, if you're coming as an employer, the offer letter that your employer gave to you, you have to come with it. If you're married, you need to come with your children details like the immunization card, you need to come with your passport, you need to come with your driver's license, you need to come with your ATM, don't say because I am no longer using the ATM since I'm traveling abroad. You will still need your ATM for one or two things. Like example, if you want to go and do your identification card in Australia, you need part of the requirement you need is your overseas uh, MasterCard to give you some points and some other things. So do not throw away your ATM card immediately thinking you're not going to use it at all when you come to Australia. The first three months, you might need it for one or two documentations in Australia. So while you have gathered everything, including your marriage certificate, your newspaper review, your education fees, all of them, your family photos, you need to put them together. So those ones that you're not going to need immediately, you can leave them in your luggage, but the ones that you need to show your immigration officer when you get to the border, like the visa, your passport, or your offer letter and all that, you need to put them in your carry-on bag. So it will be easier for you to access them when the need arises. And also you should please do a backup of all your documents. You can get a flash drive and put in all the soft copy just as a backup. You can photocopy all of them and put it Nothing in a flash that drive you need for to come same with keeping. if you're coming to Australia is your clothing. So depending on where you're coming from, especially our African people that like uh, coming with a lot of our traditional wares, depending on where you're going to reside. If you're coming to a regional area, you will not need much of your African wares because there's no place actually you're going to wear it to. Even if you're going to wear it to church, you will look different. Yes, I know some people will be like, I don't care if I look different, but you will get tired of wearing just your native wear when every other person is dressing smart casual. You're in your Iro and Boba or, or you're in your Isiago, you will definitely get tired of it. If you're living in a metropolitan area, of course, you will see a lot of Africa around there. You might join the community and want to showcase your tradition. But the truth is you don't have anywhere to wear your traditional wear. To. So I am not saying you should not come in with your traditional wear, but don't come in with a box of your traditional wear. Pick the few that you might need and give out the rest. What you will need here more is, depending on the kind of job you want to do, if you're going for um, an office job that they dress in suits or casual wears, you need few casual wears that you would use in starting your new job. If you're a student and you're coming here, you just need some pair of jeans, some winter clothes and some tops. Like I said, you can come in with your a smart that I'm going to talk about wear is your gadgets. So electronics and gadgets. So if you're planning like a student, you want to buy a new laptop from your country before you got, come here, I will tell you not to do that. Wait till you get to Australia. Bring the money along with you. We always have a lot of sales like this November. We are going to have Black Friday sales. We're going to have Christmas sales and every sales, Easter sales and all that. So it's an opportunity for you to buy whatever gadgets or electronics that you want to use here. If you're using your phone in your country, you can also use it like that. So when you come to Australia, it will be easier for you to change your phone here. Like I said, 
you can always get something cheaper. Why I say you shouldn't buy any new gadgets from your home country is because the kind of sockets we have in Australia is different from what you have in other places. The head of so the gadgets here is like the small generator back home that we call a pass my neighbor i'll be showing you guys how it looks like so the only way you can actually even use your phone here is by getting a universal charger maybe to use it for now till you find a way to change your electronics and all that so i know some people who also want to come in with some of their electronics from home their tvs their cooking wares and all that be sure that the voltage in australia matches the one in your country because if it doesn't that means you have to be buying either adapter or step up or step down you have to be conscious of that when you're coming or when you're moving your things to australia so instead of doing all that you can accept it's so expensive that you can't let it go then fine and good you can come with it and deal with it when you come here but if it's something that you can let go it is so another thing to which is very important for a lot of people and that is one of the reasons why I'm making this video because I have made a video like this before. You can check my old video to see well detailed information that I've talked about there but this one is like an updated video when it comes to food items to bring to Australia. During my time we come in with a lot of things as long as you put it in a Ziploc bag and you labeled it with the English name, the botanical name and the traditional name. Lately there has been some changes. If you know Australia you will know that they change a lot of policies. They can wake up today and the policy that you know about tomorrow would have changed. It's good to always check the country you want to move to, not just Australia, to be sure you are updated with their latest law and policy so that is the reason why i'm actually making this video concerning where it comes to uh food items because a lot of people have also said that they came in with uh their food items in a ziploc and it was seized while some people say oh they came in with their food items in a ziploc bag and it wasn't seized i'm also going to be leaving australian border force so you guys can check them out read all the content about what you can bring in Australia from their website so you would not make mistake. So let us go back to food items you would bring to Australia. So anything that has to do with seeds, you cannot bring them to Australia. You can bring a goosey to Australia, you can bring a bono to Australia, you can bring crayfish, it has to be grinded and it has to also be commercially packed. So I'll be showing you guys what it means by commercial packing. You see this? This is a commercial packed item you see here they talked about what this is all about they put the badge number they put the nutritional value and direction and everything shows navdac number to show that it's consumable by humans so all that and even the expiring date so if you want to bring anything like this make sure it's commercial pack no how it is this can fly very well. Even other spices like chicken glory, curry and all that. You see the fish here? You can pack your fish. You can buy a fish like this with the showing the expiring date. So one thing about fish, stock fish, make sure that there is no ant. Once they see one single ant, whether dead or alive, they will take all of them away. So be careful when you're packing or when you're buying um, from your vendors. Make sure that there is no ant. I know some people say that they can come in with beans. There is a lot of beans here. So to me, I will tell you not to come in with beans. But if you want to come in with beans, make sure there is no weevil in your beans. If you cannot afford to buy by the vendors that have already done it in this commercial way, I know that some people do it by themselves by printing the getting the bags sealing it and putting all that but if you're going to do it yourself make sure that you put produce for human consumption in it with this they will know that it's fit for human being to eat and they will not question you so whatever you want to do do it very right and some people also came in with this labeled commercial goods like this and they seized some of it as well so all you need to do is just prayers and hoping that the immigration officer you're going to see in the airport will be nice and kind enough to allow you when you have done all this to bring in your goods. 
if you if you don't want to do it at all it's fine and good you can come in with small you can easily get a lot of african food here in australia just that it will cost you a little bit more than when you're coming from your country so if you're going to bring just a little to manage yourself till you start work or till you start earning australian money to get it from african shop fine and good so you can also come in with your hair extensions body cream especially people that like lightening and whitening cream you might not see it here like every other country so if you're into such please bring a lot of it somebody messaged me and asked me can they bring ori yes you can come with ori this is shea butter that i bought in a shop they have written everything about this shea butter and they put it in this kind of thing so it's advisable for you to do same if you want to bring such if you have any medication that you want to come in with please don't bring a lot and make sure that you get a script for any medication that is not uh counter medications and what are counter medications like paracetamol vitamins and all that are uh, uh counter medication if you are having any medication that you need to see a doctor to get a script for please kindly get a script from your doctor and you can get up to a three months uh, medication and bring your doctor's notes to show that he was actually approved by your doctor before you bring it to Australia and not to forget when you're coming in with money you have to come in not uh, more than 10,000 Australian dollars if you come in with more than 10,000 Australian dollars you need to declare that you have more than 10,000 Australian dollars with you but hey why will you be coming with a lot of money when you can actually open an account in your country and put in some of the money there so these are all the things I want to mention here to have an idea what to bring with you and the final tip I'm going to give each and every one of you that is coming in is please declare everything you're coming with don't think you're smart enough to hide some things from your immigration officer once they see something that you did not declare in your bag they will seize it from you you would also be fined for it make sure you declare everything that you're coming into australia with to avoid any penalties i hope this video will help someone pack in their luggage and come into australia very soon if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you have watched up to this extent what are you waiting for guys subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell it is free of charge they're not going to charge you to uh, subscribe to my channel and they are not going to charge you to share like this video so you can help someone that is coming to Australia to have an idea what they will bring in into Australia thank you and I will see you guys in my next video